Hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on? Thanks for coming back, clicking on a, another video. Hopefully, everybody had a good day. Everybody's um, you're probably getting home if you're on the East Coast. Hopefully, you're not in the middle of traffic. But um, hi, everybody. Hopefully, you're having a good day. I just wanted to get on here and make a, a quick video. I didn't get a chance to really have uh, too much alone time today. I'm sitting in my backyard now. As you can see, I'm getting my little me time. <laughs> um, but I previously made a video regarding um, your personal space. Um, I mean, you can click on that video if you like, if you want to hear me uh, just give a brief uh, explanation on, you know, personal space and things of, of that nature. But um, I was on social media and I got an idea, so I wanted to jump on really quick and uh, give you guys my... Um, my input on uh, personal space and how you can apply it today in 2020 uh, going forward. Uh, so we all know social media is um, social media is a big part of our lives. I mean, it's it's, it's a proven fact, statistically proven. You know, I even googled the data sitting at work at my desk. Um, it statistically it shows in the data that uh, people surf or social media spikes <laughs> between the hours of nine to five. Usually the hours of people will work, right? They're just sitting at their desk on social media, so, uh, surfing Facebook or shopping on Amazon or Yahoo News or whatever the case may be. And you run across all these different types of advertisements, all types of crazy things uh, on, the, on these uh, websites and these social media uh, platforms and things like that, man. You definitely want to protect your virtual personal space as well. You know, you can have uh, toxic friends, toxic family members on Facebook that post negative stuff or um, just have, have, have weird effects on uh, the way you think or even the way you act and the way you do things. So you want to be kind of mindful or cognizant uh, of stuff. It's kind of like when I tell, um, you know, when I tell women, uh, if you want to find a, a, a good man, what type of, well, you got you to be more specific. What type of man do you, do you want? You know, if you're trying to find, um, you know, a white collar business dude, you need to go to Wall Street. You need to go to the business district where you see men wearing suit and ties. That's where you need to go if you want a businessman. If you want a religious dude, you know, you can find you can find a religious man in a church. Go go to church. And man, these 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 things help draw you closer to your destiny. You know, warding off uh, all this stuff that people try to put on you. Uh, that'll help you achieve, your, you know, the destiny or yield whatever type of results you want. If you know you have an addiction to porn or whatever the case may be, you know, stop friending sex sexually suggestive uh, friends on social media platforms. Stop visiting uh, porn websites. I mean, you know, everyone has an addiction regardless of, of whatever it is. If you know you want to change or if you're noticing something, you have to put forth the effort. Uh, get the ball rolling, you know, small things or big things start small. It's a snowball effect um, But yeah, the, with this with the personal space you have a, you have personal space uh, And in the social in the social realm as well, you know, everybody everybody has their cell phones at the tip of their fingers at all times Doctors are almost even saying that the, the cell phones are uh, so much a part of the human body that if you know if the cell phone wasn't, if, the, if we didn't have to hold cell phones, like just think about it. You people used to forget their their wallets or their car keys in their car. Uh, now people forget their cell phones. So you know you running back to your car for your cell phones. But when you're surfing online, in between the hours of nine to five, when you're surfing online and you own social media, you know you want to avoid, you know. You want to protect your personal space. You want to protect your vir virtual space. Stay off somebody. Take a break from Twitter. Take a break from Instagram. You know, take a break from social media or, or TikTok or all these other platforms that people just let drain their energy all day long. You're sitting in front of a phone all day <laughs> like this with your, your neck. You got to let those chakras go through your body. You got to let that, that blood circulate. But I just wanted to... Um, get on here and thank god i was able to finish the video i've, I've reshot it three or four times i just came out here and i prayed and i was like okay just let me get five minutes to get this video done and i'm gonna go ahead and add it throw on uh, some edits and hopefully uh i took you know five minutes to at least put a smile on your face 
But have a good day. Y'all stay safe out there. Protect your personal space and your virtual personal space. Be safe.